Halbert. I'm a teaching artist for Medhow Arts, a nonprofit arts organization in Twist. Today we'll be inspired by a book by Juliette Menendez called Latinitas Celebrating 40 Big Dreamers. For this activity, you will need a piece of paper, a pencil, and your watercolor paint set or any other coloring materials you would like to use. Latinitas Celebrating 40 Big Dreamers by Juliet Menendez celebrates the lives of 40 influ influential women ranging from the 1700s to the present day. The women are from the U.S. and Latin America and are influential in fields such as, such as architecture, engineering, medical science, music, dance, and much more. Here is one of the pages from her book which celebrates Antonia Navarro, a topographical engineer from El Salvador. She made groundbreaking studies about the moon and in the late 1800s was the first woman to graduate from university in Central America. Back then, many people thought women shouldn't go to university. She proved them wrong. Here is another page from her book, which celebrates Lori Hernandez, a gold medal Olympic gymnast and winner of Dancing with the Stars. Many of you may have heard of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who is currently one of our Congresswomen. She became the youngest member of Congress ever at 28 years old and now fights for better health care, free public colleges, and to protect the environment. You will notice that Juliet Menendez, the author and illustrator of this story, illustrates these women as children. She wants children who read this story to be able to see someone who looks like them, who they connect, can connect with and be inspired by. Today we're going to draw an inspirational woman from our own lives. So this could be someone that you know personally, like part of your family or one of your friends or a teacher, uh, or it could be someone that you've heard about in the news. So go ahead and take a few minutes to think about a woman who you're really inspired by. And why are you inspired by this person? Are they really kind or caring? Are they um, a great athlete? Are they really strong? Are they, do they speak up for what they believe in? Are they great at something, um, a certain field of study, like maybe they're really great at math, or maybe they're a great teacher? So take a few minutes to think about which person you want to draw today. I'm going to draw my grandmother um, because she is a very strong woman and stands up for what she believes in. Um, and is very much a leader in our family. So I really am inspired by her. So I'm, I'm going to draw her as a child. So just like Juliet Menendez drew those influential women as children, I'm going to draw my grandmother as a child. Um, and I don't really know what she looks like as a child, so I'm just going to kind of make it up. So you can be drawing whoever you want to be drawing, um, and you're welcome to follow along with me for kind of a basic way to draw um, people, or you can just create your own drawing. Uh, so feel free to either follow along with me or just do whatever you're inspired to do to create and celebrate the woman you're inspired by. Okay, so let's start by drawing a head and kind of a basic stick figure. So I'm going to draw some body and the stick figure legs. And remember, this isn't about making a super realistic drawing. This is about celebrating someone uh, we're inspired by. Okay, so I've got kind of the basic stick figure of my grandmother as a child. <laughs> um, so I've got the stick figure. So now I'm going to add some clothes. And I can just make up what she is wearing. Um, I mean, back in her time, girls had to wear dresses, but that's not true anymore. But maybe your person, yeah, they could be wearing whatever you want them to be wearing. Okay, and then I might add, so add clothes, and then you can erase the stick figure that's underneath the clothes. Um, maybe I'll give her some shoes and some socks. Okay, 
And then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna flesh out um, my stick figure a little bit. So humans, um, when you look at, like if you look at my arm, it's got width to it. So it's not just a single stick, it's kind of a wide structure. So I'm just gonna kind of go along and make my sticks more into these like wide structures. So kind of adding muscle onto our bone would be one way to think about it. Okay, and then maybe add some hands. And sometimes hands uh, can be kind of tricky, so just doing like, pretend like your person has mittens on and just kind of draw a little mitten works quite well. And give her a neck. Okay. And now my person's head is really big, but I actually kind of like that because I'm trying to celebrate um, her character, just who she is. So I think I'm going to leave it with a really big head, but I might make my neck a little smaller, a little shorter. So this is the wonderful thing about drawing in pencil, is you can totally just change whatever you want, whenever you want to. Okay, okay, so here's my grandmother with her very large head, and I'm going to draw, let's see, draw some eyes. And I'm going to draw her smiling. And I'm going to draw some hair. And yeah, you can just keep kind of changing whatever you want to like. There we go. Okay, and then I might draw some things around this person um, that helps to uh, show who they are. So my grandmother grew up in the mountains. Um, her father was helping build this big highway that went through the mountains. And so I think I'm gonna draw some trees around her. Um, and maybe some mountains. Um, and I know that she liked to read. So maybe I'll give her a book in her hand. So you can add these, what we might call props, or just things that would surround your person that help us tell a little bit about them. So maybe if your person loves music, you draw an instrument in their hand or something like that. Which reminds me, another reason I'm really inspired by my grandmother um, is because she's an artist. So I'm going to give her a uh, pencil. And a piece of paper to draw on. Okay. So take a few minutes now to complete your own pencil drawing of your woman that you're inspired by. Okay, so now that we have our pencil outline done, we can go ahead and add some color. So I'm going to use my watercolor paint set, um, but you're welcome to use whatever materials you want. And as you do this, maybe think about colors that you think that either remind you of this person or you think this person might like. Um, and you don't have to, like if you can't think of any specific colors, then just color it in whoever comes to you. Um, but like I know my grandmother really likes this really bright pink, so maybe I'll put her in kind of a bright pink. Um, and then also thinking about the mountains with her, I might think of some kind of cool blue colors or things like that. So uh, you can, you know, think about how the color shows who this person is. So take a few minutes now to color in your inspirational woman drawing. Thanks for joining me today to talk about inspirational women and to make some artwork about the inspirational women in our own lives. See you next time.